In the last video, I talked about when to test for hydrogen and carbon dioxide gas. In this video, I'm going to show you when to test for the remaining three gases, ammonia, chlorine, and oxygen. Let's find out. So when to test for ammonia gas? Now, ammonia gas is produced in two reactions in your syllabus. The first is when you add an alkali to an ammonium salt, and the second is when you add sodium hydroxide and aluminum foil to test for the presence of nitrate ions. Now, both of these reactions require warming. So if you're sitting for your O-level practical exam and you read the words warm gently, now you add a solution to another solution, two solutions together, or if you're adding aluminum foil plus an alkali and you're asked to warm gently, I would test for ammonia gas. And I do this by placing a piece of moist red limer safer at the mouth of the test tube. And if it turns blue, ammonia gas is formed. Now, when do you test for chlorine and oxygen gas? Now, the answer to this lies in the black solid known as manganese oxide. Now, you see, uh, for oxygen gas to be produced, what we do is we add manganese oxide to a colorless solution known as hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide will break down to form water and oxygen gas. So in the chem lab, if you're adding a black solid into a colorless solution and you see effervescence, chances are the effervescence is oxygen gas. Now, if you're adding the same black solid to a colorless solution and you're asked to warm it, all right, if you're asked to heat the solution, then chances are that will be chlorine gas. Why? Because manganese oxide will oxidize hydrochloric acid to chlorine gas. Now, these equations are not in your syllabus, so I'm not going to go too much into them. But once again, black solid, color solution, and you add it in, no warming, oxygen gas, with warming, chlorine gas. And to test for chlorine gas, we use a piece of moist uh, blue limer paper. It will turn from blue to red, and then it gets bleached. So I hope this short video has shown you when to test for ammonia, chlorine, and oxygen gas, and I'll see you next time.